Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Chimes here, back with another video. Today we're going to be going over another man beater. And, um... <clears throat> this is really... In a really good man beater if you know what they're doing, right? So most people, when they're in man coverage, they're going to play over the top. Because, for obvious reasons, like this play not to work. So this is the play art. And if they're not playing over the top... You're going to motion slant, but your main read is going to be Devontae Adams on this corner route. And he's just going to run right by his man. It doesn't work as well against, like, press coverage or if they're playing over the top. I'll play over the top right now just to verify that it doesn't really work. Um, okay, so it's only when they press man cover. It's only when they press and play over the top. So they can be giving cushion and play over the top, and it doesn't matter. He's going to run right by it. So they're going to have to press and play over the top. So if you see your opponent not really wanting to press against this formation, but most people press when they play man coverage because obvious reasons. And if they do end up pressing and playing over the top, then what you're going to want your read to be is well first of all when you see them press you're gonna immediately do something i'm gonna show you guys right after this play uh you're just gonna run the motion slant you're gonna see if he gets open he doesn't then you're gonna hit your quick slant um obviously a user is probably gonna sniff that out but maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't you know <laughs> um but what you're gonna see is if he presses and plays over the top like most people do as soon as you see that, you're going to smart route, Devontae Adams, run your normal route combo, and you're going to motion Devontae Adams across. And so that's going to immediately give you inside leverage with Devontae Adams versus this. Uh, he could be a linebacker DB, doesn't matter. This is the guy that's manned up on Devontae Adams. And you see the route. As you saw in the last plays, he runs away from man coverage when he has that leverage, right? And he's going to get a crazy speed boost, and he's just going to basically run away from this guy. And you can see that he does just that. So that's against press play over the top. He runs away from him. I think it's, I think it's a really good um, man beater. It can definitely be effective since you can obviously blend in this with it, this PA post shot, my signature man beater, if you will. All right, this is this is my signature man beater, and that's why it's because it's really freaking good. And so it makes it more stressful for the user on the other side of the field to user it because now he doesn't know exactly which way you're actually gonna go. You know, this is a problem that I was running into is, I mean, it wasn't a super problem because obviously if he's using that route alone, the middle of the field is going to be wide open. I can start throwing my angle routes to my backfield master. But I, I definitely was missing the deep shots against man coverage because of he, he was doing that. And I think this is going to be a really good way to counter that because look at how fast he runs away from it. I don't think a user is, is going to be able to catch up to that because usually the user is playing like 10 yards back because he just kind of figures the route is coming and he just wants to play it because it's a super fast cut on that PA post shot post. And so this definitely is going to make him freak out. Man coverage is not really possible against gun type flex. There's so many things you can do and I'm just going through the playbook and just finding more things that you can just destroy man coverage, zone coverage out of. And um, one more thing we're going to go over is um, different coverages like cover six and stuff. Um, because I've gone over the base coverages, and I don't want you guys to worry if you come across like something different, like cover six, show four, or cover nine, if this has it. I don't see it. I think in 3-2-5 they have it, though. But we're going to go over cover three or cover 6, show 4 right now. And 
super easy way to read it is literally all four of the DBs move. And another super easy way to read which side is which is if you see my last video, Shepard is always freaking moving. He just doesn't stop. Anyways, in my last video, I explained that Tampa 2, the nickel corner, is or the slot corner, is going to be on the line of scrimmage. And another way of knowing that it's going to be cover 2 on this side is the separation between the safety and the corner uh, versus the separation of the corner and the safety on this side. Plus, this guy isn't on the line of scrimmage. So that's your way of knowing which side is covered two and which side is covered four. Now, with that being said, what you're going to do is you're going to run your cover four beater. Look at Shepard, he's still moving around. Let's see if he does it again. Nope, he's finally calming down. So you're going to run your cover four beater, but your, your route that you're looking for isn't going to be X anymore. It's going to be B. And the reason for that is the two quarters on this side are going to follow Devontae Adams on that post route. And so you're going to have basically triple coverage on Devontae Adams. And it's going to leave Valdez Scantling wide open. And he's going to go. Especially if you have a fast receiver. I mean, Valdez Scantling has a 93 speed, but I don't know. He doesn't feel like it. So that's how you can diagnose uh, cover six. And um, there's another way to beat this as well. You can run your cover two beater. Because at the end of the day... It doesn't matter how many zones they have deep. It just it just depends on which zone it is that they have deep, right? And so you're not even going to worry about this side because it's just irrelevant. You're going to be focusing on this right side. Cover two is easier to bomb than cover four. Just remember that. So whenever you see these mixed coverages like this, go for the easier side. And... Devontae Adams is going to run away from him. Mm, I didn't get the best sort of catch. I couldn't stay in bounds. But you see, the route gets behind the deep half, and you can take it to the grid. So, I mean, either either one either one has a super good touchdown chance, right? I mean, that one, he just got left alone. Oh, you see that stop and go? How they just... Whew, let, me, let me not get full of myself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's that's it's super easy to uh, beat cover six. I would argue that it's actually a little easier to beat cover six than than most of these coverages, right? Because I wonder if I can streak. I wonder if I can put um, my Y route on a streak, and I wonder if that'll leave Valdez Scantling alone. Let me let me test that. So. We're going to come out in this, and uh, I'm just going to test and see if, so he does get left, uh, kind of, kind of not really, but it is super easy to pick apart cover six, just like it is any other play, because none of these underneath routes matter, or none of these underneath zones matter. It's all about the deep zones this year. Deep zones are horrible. You can basically run your high-low concepts against deep zones. Like, why, why are you, why are you gonna attack the flats this year when it's easier to attack deep zones? <laughs> it's like if there's any year to say that life's life's too short to check down, it's this year because deep zones are just awful. And so you have so many ways of beating them. I just got cheated. I just got cheated, cheater. Anyways, let's go over the next play. I'm pretty sure 335 has cover 9, if I'm not mistaken. And it has cover 4. Oh, it has cover 3 cloud. I've already gone over that, though. I know I saw cover 9 somewhere. Mm. I swear I did. Bro, I must have been dreaming. I'm not even kidding. <gasps> there it is. Cover 9 show 2. And then I'm going to see if there is another... No. Okay, so that's, what, that's the one we're going to go with. 
Cover 9 Show 2. There's literally like no difference, <laughs> as you can see, between Cover 6 and Cover 9. So all you're going to do, again, is you're going to motion. Nobody moves. And you can already see which side the Cover 2 is on. The Cover 2 is on this side because of the separation of the safety in the corner. Super easy to read. So with that being said, we can actually run our cover four beater like this. Because on the right side, it's cover four. And this is actually gonna work super good. Oh my goodness. It Bro, tell me why that deep half played that. That deep half just played that all the way across the field. Okay, actually I have an idea. I don't need the out route on the left side against cover nine. This is actually the first time I've ever gone against cover. I didn't even lab this before I did the video. I'm just a demon. I think this might be the best for cover nine because you need to occupy that deep half. So let's see. Definite. Oh my goodness. Pressure and accurate. No way. That doesn't happen like eight times a game. I'm just kidding. It actually doesn't because I have edge protectors, you know. So, judging what I saw from that last play, it's actually not the worst idea to hit Shepard, because there's some type of man match that happens to Shepard. Oh, geez. He just ran away from him. And, of course, it's an underthrow. But, as you see, it's definitely... It, it's more comfortable to throw than cover four itself, I would say. I would say this is way more comfortable to throw than cover four. You roll out, see if that makes a difference. I mean, no, not really, but it's, it's going to be a catch. So, yeah, that should be it. I think um, that's all of the little extra zones out there. Just remember, when you're going against cover 6, cover 9, one side's cover 2, the other side is cover 4. It's not really rocket science. It just depends on which side you're going to be comfortable with bombing. And in this case, since my post route is on the left, I'm going to be more comfortable bombing it to um, the right. I'm going to be more comfortable bombing it to the cover four side because my post is on the left. So that actually worked super good. So actually leaving that out route, something about man matching happens in cover nine that actually benefits this. And we're going to do it again just to verify. Yeah. So, either way, whoever man matches on Devontae Adams is going to get beat. So, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.